Good morning guys from another beautiful sunny day here in Bali, Indonesia. I'm coming on today to talk to you guys about my trip planning process as right now I'm actually planning a 17 day bike ride the entire way around the island of Bali. So it's hard to believe I've actually been back in Bali almost one month already and as I haven't actually found a long-term villa to stay in and I need to move out of this villa that I'm in right now on Saturday I thought that I might just head off for a few weeks, see some of the island and see some of the sort of bucket list places that I've always wanted to visit. Because even though I've lived here in Bali for, I guess on and off for three to four years, there's a lot of places on this island that I haven't seen. I've never been to the far north, I've never been to Munduk, and I've never been to the far west of the island. So these are some, some of the more, I guess, remote and less visited parts of Bali. So I thought it would be really fun to head off on my bike for about two weeks, maybe 16 days, and do one big loop the whole way around the island. <laughs> so this is actually a pretty adventurous solo trip that I'm planning. Um, I've never done a bike trip this long before, and there really are quite a lot of logistics that I need to think about, such as it's currently rainy season in Bali, so I need to figure out how I'm gonna stay dry on the bike, how my belongings are gonna stay dry, how I'm gonna stay safe as it's like a solo trip and I'm gonna do the whole trip on my scooter, on my motorbike, um, and also where am I gonna put all of my belongings? Cause I don't really want to have a very big backpack sitting on my back for hours and hours every day as I drive around the island. So I'm trying to sort of weigh, weigh up my options at the moment. And then on top of that, I'm also starting to plan my route. So I'm trying to figure out where do I want to go? Where do I want to stop? Uh, can I find any super cool, unique accommodation? and I just thought I would share this entire planning process with you guys. Um, I'll also like show you a map of Bali, I'll show you the places that I'm thinking to go and I'll bring you, al bring you around as I'm running my errands preparing for this trip in like two or three days. So I need to go to a big sort of hardware store where they sell uh, luggage boxes for the back of scooters. I also want to pick up some packing cubes and some little pouches to put my like passport and documents. Um, and I also heard of this store called Motor Adventure Bali and they do long-term rentals and you can also rent like luggage boxes and accessories for the scooter. So that is about a half an hour drive from here. So I thought I would go over there, check it out and see if one of their bikes is suitable for my trip. Okay, so let me start by showing you a map of Bali here on my computer and showing you the places that I'm planning to go on this 17 day solo bike adventure. So I live here, which is in Changu, it's where all the sort of digital nomads live. And I plan to set off from here Saturday morning and drive up to Ubud. I will spend two nights, I think, in Ubud town. And then I'm gonna head north to Tegalalang, which is the terraced rice fields and a lot of beautiful water temples and stuff like that. I might spend an extra day or two in the general Ubud area. Then I'm going to head to Munduk up in the mountains, lots of waterfalls. Then I'm gonna head to Lovina, which is the north coast of Bali before taking the coast road, going the entire way over to West Bali and West Bali National Park. I then will take the south southern coast road all the way back towards Changu, probably starting off, stopping off in Madui or in Balian Beach along the way. Right now I only have two days until my trip and I have quite a lot of errands I need to run. So I need to go drop off my laundry and then I'm gonna to have to pick up my laundry. I need to pack up the clothes and belongings that I'm not bringing on the road trip and drop them off at my friend's house. I want to go to Ace Hardware and to this Motor Adventure Bali place to check out their bikes and their luggage storage. And really I've just got a whole list of things that I need to do to prepare and obviously I need to move out of this villa before I can head off on this adventure. So let's get started. So obviously my main reason for being here is to get the box to put on the back of my scooter and if they have scooter panniers which are those bags that go either side of the scooter I would buy them as well but I might need to go to a special shop in Uluwatu to get that before my trip. So they do have some bags here I'm kind of looking for like a medium sized backpack that I can have on my back but that is bigger than this one. <laughs> so there's some luggage options here. So they've also got these packing cubes, which I would be tempted to get to divide everything inside of my backpack because I don't really use these already. 
Lots of cool things. Digital bag for all your wires and stuff. Toiletry bag. But what I'm looking for is a phone holder for my scooter so that if I'm looking for directions, I can put my phone in one of these guys like this. Okay guys, so I found a big box that I could possibly put at the back of my scooter. It's only about 30 euro. Oh. This is, uh, it's quite big. Motor Adventure Bali. This is a bike shop here in Bali where you can um, buy luggage boxes, you can buy panniers, uh, lots of stuff to do with motorbikes and big motorbikes. Not so much for my little Scoopy. So I'm thinking maybe I need to upgrade my Scoopy to like an NMAX or something just a little bit bigger before I do this trip. But uh, I'm gonna go inside now and check out what kind of things they have and if there is something within my price range. So these ones look about the right size. These ones are like 8.50 or 7.50. I went to two different stores. One was Ace Hardware and the other one was the um, Bali Adventure Motor Store, something like that. Um, both of them do sell the luggage boxes. They were quite expensive. At one place it was 600,000. The other place was 800,000. Those birds are very loud. Um, but you also needed a bracket for 350,000, I think it was, to attach it to the back of your bike. It also sounded a little bit complicated, like I had to take a bracket off the bike I had rented from some guy down the road here, and then I would have to go back at the end of my trip and they would take their bracket off, which I bought, put the old bracket on. It just seemed like a lot a lot of things that I would need to do. Um, so then the other option is just to rent a bike from them directly. And if I do that, then the luggage box will be included on the bike. There'll also be a phone holder. And it was it's also quite a big bike, like much bigger than the ones I'm used to driving, but it has more storage underneath the bike. And it would probably be a little bit better and a bit safer for doing a big trip. So I'm starting to think now that that's my best option and I'm going to send them a message and see if they can have a bike ready for tomorrow for me to pick up and use. So my bike is finally ready. I've got my luggage, back, <laughs> luggage box on the back and I've got my phone holder and uh, they've just filled it up with petrol so i guess i'm ready to go so guys this is my bike got my luggage box got my little phone holder So in total, it's going to cost me about 2 million, which is I think only about 110 euro. So that is to rent a bike for 17 days. That includes, like I said, the luggage box and the phone holder, and it also includes insurance. So the insurance was an extra, I think like two euro per day, but I think it is good to have insurance. I'm a very big fan of insurance. I always go for the insurance option, so I decided to go for it. And then I had to put a deposit of $300 down, which I will get back once I bring the bike back in good condition. I also thought I would show you guys what I'm going to pack for this trip. So mainly it's camera equipment. I've got the vlogging camera, which is what I'm using right now. My GoPro and loads of GoPro accessories so I can attach the GoPro to my helmet. And I've got a head strap and I've got a strap so I can jump into water with it and it will float. Um, I've got this other cool contraption where I can stick the GoPro to the front of my bike so that it's facing me while I'm driving and then I've got my drone and all my chargers and my laptop and then in the other small bag it's pretty much just going to be um, a few dresses shorts t-shirts bikinis and clothes that I'm going to need for the trip when I was doing my packing I had to be super brutal because I don't want to bring that much stuff so I'm just gonna show you now I am really I'm using those packing cubes that I picked up in uh, Ace Hardware my room is like pretty much empty because I'm moving out. Um, but essentially, I've got all of my um, bikinis and underwear, a hat and some headscarves in this little case. And then this is essentially all of the clothes I'm bringing on this trip. I think that is actually insane. Like, 
<laughs> this is it. This is all the clothes I'm bringing. It's a few dresses, some shorts, some t-shirts. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then I've got one bag over here, which is like my drone and all of my GoPro equipment. That will all go in my small backpack. Um, and then, yeah, just those two other little bags. And then I've got my rain poncho to stay um, dry. I've got another raincoat just in case. Um, and I've got a waterproof pouch for my passport and important documents. And of course, my helmet. <laughs> so that's it, I'm pretty much ready to go. So tomorrow morning I'm gonna be setting off and I'm pretty excited for this 17th day adventure. I really hope you guys will follow along. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day one of my Bali bike adventure.